Bedmas is something that will follow you throughout your math career and beyond into sciences or finances or whatever career you might have that involves some numbers. And that's why we come back to Bedmas so often. In this tutorial, we'll consider some numbers that involve decimals. Example 1. 1 1.33 plus 17 over 2 minus negative 2 times in brackets 5.88 minus 1.2. So, thinking bedmas. So we start with the B, brackets. We note that we have a couple sets of brackets with operations within them here, and one set of brackets to keep track of a negative. Let's aim at the brackets with operations in them. This first one has a division within it, so that'll come next. 17 divided by 2 equals 8.5. And you can try that one in your head. Now, we have addition and subtraction next in each set of brackets. 1.33 plus 8.5 equals 9.83. And in the second set of brackets, 5.88 minus 1.2 equals 4.68. We'll leave the negative 2 as is for now but we definitely carry it along so we don't forget it. So we're done with our bedmas within the brackets and we see that we have a multiplication to do next. Negative 2 times 4.68 equals negative 9.36. We'll keep it in brackets at this point just to ensure that we don't get ourselves confused with the negative. Last step is to subtract. Let's clear out the brackets to make this simpler. A minus minus is a plus. So 9.83 plus 9.36 equals 19.19. And that's our final answer. Example 2. 2 in brackets 1 plus 5 percent all over 3 minus 8.6. We look at this one and we note that we have a percentage sign in the question, so we're going to have to remember how to convert that into a decimal. Let's get started. Brackets first. 5%. So let's deal with it. We remember that percent means per 100, so we can just divide 5 by 100 to get rid of the percent sign. 5 divided by 100 is 0 0.05. Now, some people would remember it as moving the decimal over twice to get rid of that percent sign, and that's fine. Either way, they do the exact same thing. Looking after the addition next. 1 plus 0 0.05 equals 1.05. And we're done with the brackets. Next, let's look after the multiplication here. 2 times 1.05 equals 2.1. And we're now ready for the division. 2.1 divided by 3 equals 0 0.7. And now for subtraction, we can finally get around to the 8.6. 0 0.7 minus 8.6 equals negative 7.9. And we're all done. In this tutorial, we looked at problems that involved both bedmas and decimals. And just like any Bedmas problem, the key was to stay organized. Use your brackets strategically and show every step in your solution. If you do this and practice a bunch of examples, you'll soon be a master of Bedmas.